Welcome back to a rather sunny but very windy North Lincolnshire coast. I'm back at Ingle Mills today, Trunch Lane, come see the in laws, staying at a caravan site literally just over the banking. Wasn't going to fish today because the northerly winds, 20 mile an hour plus. Um, as you can probably see behind me, it's pretty lumpy. This beach here is quite a sharp bank, it's a steep bank and then a big flat beach so you're into fairly decent water, around about 30 or 50 yards out so you don't have to worry about casting too far, it means that you've not got 100 odd yards of surf to compete with, but you know what, I'm determined to keep up my one video a week streak. So despite the conditions, I'm out, I'm fishing, I'm set up. Literally in the next holiday park two hours you've got big catch tackle. So I've nipped there, I've got some frozen bait, I've got frozen blacks, I've got frozen squid, and I've got frozen mackerel, it's literally frozen solid. It's come out of the freezer, over the banking, and it's on the hook. Goes without saying, with this surf today, the target is bass. Tackle-wise, it's the usual Akios Fury rods, pen spin fisher reels. On that rod, I've got a pulley panel rig, 7 ounce weight to compensate for the, the big surfs. Although at the minute I'm not seeing too much tidal pull, so I think we're doing okay tide wise. And on the panel at the minute I've just got squid. On the other rod, like I say, with the target being bass, I've gone smaller hooks, size one hooks on a two hook clip rig. And on there at the minute I've got a strip of mackerel and a fresh and a frozen black lug. Tide wise today we've got two hours till high water. Probably going to fish it up to high water and maybe an hour over high. As the start, tide starts to turn, we'll see what conditions do. If it starts to calm off a little bit, as the tide's going out, we might stay a bit later. Um, last time I think I fished it three down, at that point you're on the flat beach then, so there's not much point staying any longer than that. Yeah, there's about ten anglers already set up down there. So, once again, it's a popular venue. Since I've set up, there's another two anglers further down than me towards Fantasy Island set up. So I thought the conditions have put people off, obviously it hasn't. Well, I'll just show you this next cast because when I say I'm not chucking it very far, I'm not then winding up a great big pendulum cast and slinging it 130 yards, not very far. I mean literally About there. Not very far. Like I say, where we are at the minute, it's just at the bottom. We're at the uh, top of a bit of a banking, so we're probably casting into 12, 12, 14 foot water at that distance, so there's no need to go any further. Especially not when you're targeting things like bass bass usually like to hang around in the surf if you watch the last video keep harping on about the last video the last video I did at Trunch Lane anyway and to be fair most of the videos I haven't brought it this time because like I say I was expecting it to be windy but get set back up over here but where you've got, normally, I'd have brought my spinning rod, my lure rod, and say it in, but when you've got bass, they're in close. So if you're going after bass, and you see people chucking 100, 150 yards or so, you're casting over the fish all the time. There you go, that looked like a bite. Out 
tip up nice and high. The seven and a half leads are holding the bottom pretty well, to be honest. And I think that's just the surf, so I'm going to put that one back down. Leave you guys watching that one. And I'm going to bring the other rod in, which is the panel rig. Stick a fresh bit of squid on that one. Show you this then. So this is one of Mike's rigs, panel rigs. Like I say, big setup. Um, it's a long rig, say four and a half foot. I'm six foot four, so yeah, say four foot, four foot pulley, probably a little bit long for these sorts of conditions. I probably could have been done with bringing the, the short pack that he's done for me. They're, they're about three foot, two and a half, three foot. They probably would have been a bit better in these conditions. But there we go. We get rid of that old bit of squid. In fact, I tell you what, I want to go for a mackerel flapper just because I can't remember the last time I actually fished with a big mackerel flapper um, so rubbish always always guys in the bag it stays there that can go in the bin when uh, I find one on the way back out So let's uh, should we just bosh all of that out. Yeah, why not? We've got plenty of mackerel. Let's put all of that out. One flapper. Where's my scissors? I'm just going to snip that fin off so that it's not going to roll around in the waves. And yeah, let's put all of this out. Make it nice and streamlined. Not that. So. I'm going to go in there, I'll lie that nicely in that little fold that I've just made, lie that hook in there, get me old bait mate. The good thing about conditions like this is the crab activity should be minimal. Yeah, I'm gonna lash that up nicely like that. Because, let's face it, bass will take mackerel. Like that. Keep that line nicely in there. Top circle hook through there. Nice and tight like that. Go on. If nothing else, doggies should take it. But well, I'm not that desperate just yet, but we've got plenty of time. Plenty of time to start uh, calling on doggies. But, like I say, I am determined to keep this run of weekly videos and I can't actually remember the last time that I blanked and well, that's definitely cursed it now and I packed light so I've got no towels rope so I shall use my hoodie as a rag this come out of the wash the other day and Sarah went there's stains all down that but I can't get them out of it I said I won't worry about it by the time I finish with it, there'll be a lot more stains in it as well so again, I'm not going to put these a major distance, probably because I can't, mainly because I can't, because the wind is coming straight on shore, and these big eight, seven ounce weights, I'm not going to fly that far, but that'll do us. 
rocks out there, like I say, it's in decent water. And in my mind, anything coming in is going to be swimming along the bottom of this bank. So really, you don't want to be going too far anyway. Set the drag. These 7500 long casts have got some right drag on them. You have to back them way off. Just set that on there. And that's it then. Just like that. Baits are swapped. We're out of fishing. Could just do with this wind dying off, but it's not happening. I think the wind gets even stronger this week. I'm going to switch the GoPro off, I'm going to switch that camera off and I'll bring you back when we get some fish. Oh, it may just be the fact that I'm not used to fishing with great 7 ounce leads, but it's got a bit of weight to it, this has. Around this surfing, see what we've got. See what we have got. Wow, would you look at that? That is a lovely turbot. Absolutely stonking turbot. I'll tell you what, I'm chuffed to pieces with that. And that, I think, is going to have to come home with me because if you remember the size of that mackerel fillet I put on there it's inhaled it right let's see if I can't get this unhooked that's another species though and we're off the blank right let's uh, drop him down there give him a bit of give him a bit of space to breathe get him unhooked. Yep, there we go. Another new species for me then this season, turbot. And an absolute stonker of one as well for this side, of, this side of the shore. But anyway, let's get him back. Get him back in the water. He's unhooked. Unhooked quite well as well actually. Quite easy. But yeah, there you go. One last look. I'm going to get him back. Right, see if we can watch him swim off. I doubt it, because look how well camouflaged he is against that. Insane. Go on then, pal. Let's put in a bit more water. Oh, get out of the way. There he goes. Gone. Turbo off down the beach, just like that. Well, stunning little fish. Not what I expected to catch today at all. But I'll take it. Let's get uh, let's get some baits back out there. As predicted, pretty tough conditions to be fishing in. Sorry for wiping my hands, I've got no cloth. Normally I wipe my hands religiously. I'm one of them people when I'm cooking, every time I do something, wash my hands, start again, wash my hands, start again. So normally, I've constantly got a rag, so if I'm stood here, you know, just, yeah, you have to bear with that. Anyway, put that behind my back. Um, yeah, as predicted, tough conditions. So far, just that one turbot that saved the blank. Stonking fish. Sent a picture to Mike and said, Mike, your pulley rig's nailed it again. Took a 4-0 pen on and a full mackerel. Um, he said, oh mate, you should have kept that as a lump of a fish. And it was, to be fair, for this coastline, it's probably one of the big ones that I've seen. Unfortunately though, well, unfortunately for me, fortunately for the fish, it spat that 4-0 hook pretty easily. As you've seen from the footage, hopefully, it swallowed the whole panel. Um, so it got the 4-0 uh, specimen hook in there and the 3-0 circle and it spat them pretty easy. Uh, and it hadn't got much thickness to it either, so whether it just finished spawning or whether it just needed to put some meat on its bones, so I thought for those two reasons, it, uh, it can go back today. I hope you're all well. Hope you're keeping okay. Like I say, school holidays this week. Half term I think it is. 
as I've mentioned time and time again, if you're not okay, that's perfectly fine. Everybody goes through stages. If you are struggling though, don't struggle in silence, don't struggle alone. There are people that will talk to you, whether it's friends, family, whether you want somebody impartial. So a YouTuber that I watched the other day um, said that they were sponsored by um, you know, one of these self-help books, but they did say, and it's quite right, it's perfectly acceptable to go to a doctor when there's something wrong with your physical health, but there seems to be this stigma around getting help with your mental health. Now, some people don't want to go and talk about it, but don't suffer in silence. Yeah. Just mentioning it in these videos actually spurred my dad. Me and my dad had a good conversation about mental health the other day. So hopefully, it's encouraging you guys to talk. Don't suffer in silence, guys. But other than that, I hope you're all doing okay. Also, if you're not doing okay, get yourself out fishing, get yourself outside, because that's one of the biggest helps for me. Well, folks, it's about an hour and a half now after low water. The tide's starting to go out. The sea is picking up now that the tide's against the wind. Um, it's getting a little bit more choppy. The weeds come on as well. And now that sun's disappeared behind the, uh, behind the clouds, it's got pretty bitter. So, on that note, I'm going to call it. I'm out of here. Um, I'll see you. So, on that note, look at that. The sun's come back out now. Typical. Typical. Anyway, on that note guys, there's nothing more for me to say other than I hope you've enjoyed the video. Take care of yourselves and tight lines. And not to mention my Chinese is ready, so I'm out of here.